Happy video day guys, Christina Brooke here and I am back with Circo Loco. So we are back with the new Natasha Denona release Circo Loco. I had asked you guys in my review video, which if you guys haven't seen it, it is going to be up here in the cards. I had asked you guys what kind of video you guys wanted to see about this palette. I noticed so many of you guys saying, it's not wearable. A lot of you guys are a little confused with the color selection. A lot of you guys are a little confused on how to make this a wearable palette. I feel like there's a lot of excitement from you guys for this palette, but hesitation, and I totally get that. Okay, so this palette's arrangement, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the image of it because I have already rearranged my palette. The way that this palette was arranged is very aesthetically beautiful. It just looks really cool in photographs, but it doesn't really make as much sense for the everyday person, okay? Even for me, who I would have to say I'm pretty good with color selections, it's a little bit all over the place for even my eye. So I decided that in today's video, we're gonna take this palette apart I'm gonna rearrange it for you guys in a way that I think makes a little bit more sense. It's gonna be a lot more user-friendly. I'm also gonna to talk to you guys about the way that I think certain colors can work together because I know a lot of you guys were really interested in that. And one of my biggest points inside of my review video was how this palette, in my opinion, is such a companion palette. I also am gonna show you guys some companions and the way that I arranged my palette, you can actually see how it works a little bit better with other palettes. So we're gonna go over a lot of stuff. And at the end of this video, there will be a few different looks. I don't know at this point how many I'm gonna include. Right now I've already done three. So we'll see how many come out in this video, but I'm gonna try to give you guys an array of looks so you can kind of get an idea of different things you can do with this palette. If you guys want to see more looks, follow me on Instagram at Christina Brooke Beauty. I do share a lot of tutorials on there and especially like eye looks and you guys can leave your recommendations of what you want to see and stuff that I can include in a YouTube video. I will try to include on Instagram for you guys. So now that we've gotten into everything, if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, join the family. I would love to see you again and Let's get into it. All right guys, so should I reveal it? Should I show you guys what I did? I'm so excited. This morning, I was rearranging this forever. I swatched it all over my arms. I tried to get like the best color combinations and this is what I came up with. This is what I came up with. So this is the way I can see it. You know, there's a million ways that you could rearrange this however you want, but this is the best way for me to show you guys. So here it is. So this is the way that I have rearranged my Circo Loco palette, okay? The way that it was set up before was not as cohesive as I believe it to be right now. Um, I set it up this way on purpose. I put all of the matte shadows that can be used as blending shades or also as a base shade here down the center. I felt like that way that you can kind of get an idea of the shadows that you can use to use as a base. You can also use as deepening shades. Put them down here down the center. Another thing that I thought was very key here was there's a lot of different metallic tones here, but they don't all work perfectly with the tone that was right next to it in the palette when it was originally done. So what I did was I tried to arrange it in a way that you can use these colors together and they will work good. So I arranged this in rows. I believe that this type of palette for most people, you wanna stick to one, two, maybe even venturing into three colors and then stop. Like, I don't think that you need to get into four or five colors with this type of colorful palette. You can, it all depends on how creative your eye is or what you guys can see. But for the, just for the sake of this video and for the beginner or the intermediate, I would say stick to one to three colors, three being like maxed out. So the way I arranged this so that it would be very simplified is if you look at it in rows, I think these rows make a lot of sense together. So you can use all three of these colors together and they will create a beautiful lid. You can use all three of these colors and they will make a beautiful lid. I personally like to use two. I think that two is a really pretty way to create very simplified but pretty colorful look. So now when you use this, the way I have it now, you can use this color with this color, this color with this color, or three together. This one with this one, this one with this one, or three together. This one with this one, this one with this one, or three together. All of them make sense. You can also jump between this one and this one, jump with this one and this one. I feel like in this row, everything 
plays well together. So I really put a lot of thought into trying to figure out a way for you guys to be able to see this really good. So I think going up and down on the rows really is the easiest way to see a color combination. But if you wanna get a little adventurous, I also feel like if you go diagonal, you can also get two colors together. So if I use this one and this one, that'll look pretty. This one and this one, that'll look pretty, so forth. This one with this one, this one with that one, this one with this one, this one with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and link down below a link to my Instagram where I'm gonna put up the exact color names. So if you guys want to copy this exact palette, you can know what what color to put where, okay? All right, so that's how I rearrange this. I think it makes a lot more sense. At least for my eye, this makes a lot more sense. When you're thinking of color, you don't only have to think monochromatically. Monochromatic, when it comes to these very colorful palettes, will let you create more elegant looking lids because once you start adding colors into colorful looks, you just have to be a little bit cautious of which colors you're adding because colors together could mix into ugly colors. I, so I tried to arrange this in the colors that usually look good together. So usually purples with oranges will work. Be careful though. When you're blending a deep purple into a light orange, you have to be really, really careful. It can look amazing or they can blend really ugly. So you have to be careful. So that's a little bit more advanced, but they do look amazing together. Oranges and pinks look really good as well. When you use orange and you use pink next to it, it, it gives you a very pretty soft look. Today's look, I actually used pink on the lower lash line and all orange on the lid. This soft pink looks really, really pretty with the blues. We already know that because I think everybody who did a tutorial on the original palette used the pink with the blue. It just looks really beautiful together. So soft pink with the blues. The blues in this palette is the side to me that is not like the most fun to use. I don't really love blue to be honest. So I think that's probably the problem. But if you use the soft pink with any of these blues, they work really good. This blue right here, since it's a soft blue, it looks really nice with this more teal color. Very pretty color combination. The only blue that I feel like is just like a little misplaced is this one right here. It's a little hard to figure out where to put that one. In my opinion, this would just be my deepening shade for most of the looks. If I just wanted to add a little bit of deepness to the outer edge, I would jump into this color. So another thing when I was looking at this that I think is important is the way that I arranged it. I did it on purpose so that you could see a little bit better how you can combine this with another Natasha Denona palette. Because I told you guys, this is this to me is definitely a companion palette. You can do, like I said, these two colors together, create a beautiful, very simplified eye. But if you're really not into color at all, but you still wanna play a little bit with color, combining this with another Natasha palette or with another neutral palette that you have can make some beautiful lids. So I just wanna kind of quickly show you. I pulled out some of my favorite Natasha palettes to show you how I arranged it so that you guys can see a little better. So when you look at this purple section here, it looks amazing with the glam. So if you guys can see the glam and the purple section those are like married in heaven um a palette that i think cohesively goes amazing with this palette is the gold the gold palette with any of these colors actually works really well you can use these as base tones as blending shades you can even use some of the metallics from here and just add some of the matte colorful colors from here which you will see a look doing something similar to that um then another palette that does go really well as well is the Safari palette. You guys actually told me Safari palette and yes, Safari looks really, really pretty. Safari has more of like the toned down mattes, which you are kind of missing from this very vibrant palette. So if you see the color combinations and you stick to the pattern that is here, you can probably find colors in here that are a little bit more toned down to bring down the looks just a tad. And then the final one, and this one I kind of arranged on purpose to go with the more warm tones. So this side and sun Sunrise looks beautiful together and yeah you can use probably any of those tones with Sunrise. Metropolis also works with it. I pulled Metropolis. I mean, it's it's not like the best combination, but you can definitely use Metropolis. Lila, of course, with the purples looks pretty good. I think Trio Chrome also goes good with it, if you guys can see. But the thing with Trio Chrome is you are staying so true to the colors and that if you're trying to dye down the color, you want to use something a little bit more neutral. So that's why I would say my primary ones that I think are the best color combinations for this would be your Glam Palette, the Safari Palette, 
the gold palette and finally, honestly, the sunrise palette. Those are my favorites that I have. Using this palette on its own, all your looks are gonna be similar to like this type of idea. You're gonna have a little bit more vibrancy to the lids. You are going to have color. There's no way to get away with it just using this palette. But if you do want to add color, but you do not want to be exaggerated with color, that's when you would start to add in a neutral palette. So in the tutorials, what I'm gonna show you guys is ways to add in neutral tones. So one of the main tricks that I would tell you guys is pick the color that you wanna go with. So like, let's say you're saying, Today, I wanna to do something cool with a purple. So now that you know that you wanna use a purple, I would say stay within the cool tones. Grab something from your Biba palette, put it down as a base and go in with a really fun color. Put it on your outer edge, smoke it out. You don't even have to use the metallics from here. You could stay with the metallics in here and just have one color come from here and you're adding color to a look. It still looks super cool, but maybe it won't be exaggerated for you. So like I said in my review, like this is an expensive palette. Definitely if you're trying to add this to your collection, it's because you really want something colorful in your collection. You wanna add color to looks and you're really obsessed with Natasha's formula and maybe you don't wanna buy a cheap colorful palette. You just want her formula, then I totally think that this is worth it in that regard because it's an amazing palette, beautiful colors, and definitely you can use it. But if obviously if you don't use color and you don't want to even venture into color, skip this. This is not for you. So now what I'm going to do is show you guys ways to add color to looks to make things a little bit more toned down, but still be able to play with color. We're going to do a few different looks here. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and you guys see some inspiration here of what I was trying to explain by by combining a neutral look with some color. So anyways, let's get into the tutorials right now. So since I already rearranged my palette, I'll just kind of tell you guys, I'm using right now the matte orange. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of like blend that all over the lid and work my way up to the eyebrow. And this is gonna be just a very simple look that you can create. And then just like whatever is left on your brushes, kind of like blend it all over the place. You just want it to be really blended and pretty. So we're gonna grab this orange. So this is the one that's more of a burnt orange, not the one that's very orange metallic. So this is the burnt orange. So this one's obviously a little bit more wearable than the other one. I'm just gonna apply this all over the lid. Now I'm just kind of like blending it all in together just to make it look a little seamless and a little smoky. Okay. So then now for the lower lash line, this is where you can either stay very basic and just do a little bit of an orange, or you can add a little bit of pink. It just depends on what you're going for. I'm just gonna add a little tiny bit of pink just to the lower lash line, just a little tiny bit. So we're gonna take it a little bit more dramatic here, but not too much. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of the pink. So this is the fuchsia pink. and just halfway, don't, don't go all the way. And then to blend it in, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the orange to blend that color in just a little bit. So now to just add a little bit of dimension just to the outer part, I'm gonna grab into my gold palette. It doesn't have to be the gold palette, it could be any palette that you have that has a warm brown. And then I'm gonna grab on a very small brush. I grab a little bit of this brown. I'm gonna add it to the top half of my eyelid just to add a little bit, just a little tiny bit of color here. Okay, and that's it. I don't know if you guys can see the difference what that just does to my eyes. My eyes, they go a little down, so I like to add a little bit of a brown or a black or whatever color it has to be just to elevate just a tad. So I only went right here. So that's how I did that. And then we'll just put on some mascara and you'll see a final look.
hope that this was somewhat helpful to you guys and I hope you guys were able to see the color combinations just a tad bit better with the way that I was able to rearrange them for you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please don't forget to hit subscribe, join the family. Let me know if you guys want me to do this type of video with another palette that released and maybe you're having a harder time seeing color combinations and maybe I can dive into the colors a little bit more with you guys and help you guys see it. And so thanks so much for watching. Until the next one, see you later. Bye.